read what you got? It's the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 20, uh, 34. Think not that I have come to set peace on earth. Think not I'm here to do what? Think not that I come to send peace on earth. Christ said, I'm not here to send peace. I came not to send peace. But a sword. But a what? But, but a, a sword. sword. Can you talk peace with a sword? But a sword. A sword. Give me that Nazareth 66. I put my plea with them. Brother, how you doing? You believe in this Bible? Yeah. You do? You believe in Christ? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. You think God, you think, you think God loves everybody? Huh? You think God loves everybody? Yeah? 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 Everything. Right? Get that for me. This the book of Sarah 12, verse 6. For the most high hate sinners. The most high hates who? The most high hate hates sinners. sinners. Hates who? Hates and will we pay vengeance unto the God ungodly and keep them against the mighty day of the punished? Okay, so he hates sinners. Now let's see who you also hate. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. It As it is written. Meaning it's written before in the Bible. This is the second time it's quoted. Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved these 12 tribes. Because Jacob's name was changed to what? Israel. Right? What's your, you see yourself in this chart? What's your father? What's his nationality? What is it? Africa. African American, yeah. so called black. Let me ask you a question. So you African American, right? Yeah. You could be two continents at once. Well, I, I, first of all, my, my ancestors was kidnapped from Africa. And okay, was, where oh, in oh, Africa? Let me talk. Let me talk. Yeah. Let, let, me, let me talk now. Let, let me talk. <laughs> okay, talk. Finish. Plan first of all, my yeah. ancestors were kidnapped from Africa. Okay. Right. My great grandmother was a slave in Savannah, Georgia. Right. So therefore, we, I know that. She was one of the, one of the descendants from the kidnap that came over here in 1619. I know that. So as far as me being American, being I was born here, I'm American. So my hold on, my descendants are African, I'm American, so I'm an African American. Okay. Now do you know now do you know that the slave trade is documented in the Bible and it is gonna to happen to the children of Israel? It's certain parts and I couldn't tell you where. No, but yeah, I know it is. I'm gonna get it for you because I know it, I know what it. I mean is this. I know it now is. our people, we say we're from Africa. My question to you would be, where at in Africa? Because if I ask someone from let's say uh let's say sudan they know they'll say i'm from sudan but more than that they'll give you your tribe right. so i wouldn't just say oh he's african you would have to give his country then he would give you his tribe yeah. we're the only people but let, right? me, let but, me ask you a question right ask that person that you spoke to when did they leave africa they didn't know. Let's, let's get it. Let's, I'm just saying. Let's find out. If somebody left Africa five years ago, they're going to know all this stuff. No, no, no. Like I said, I'm descended from slaves. No, no, exactly. And our history do that with bricks that looted and tampered. Now, so let, now, let me show you. I ain't trying to get you. No, 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 brother. Yeah. But you won't point. Let me, now, can I prove to you in the Bible that we will lose our heritage, our name, and we will go into slavery? Can I show you that out yeah, the Bible? Yeah, hell yeah. No, you can't right. show me that. What? I would yeah, never yeah, go into yeah, slavery. Yeah, I would never go into slavery. I'm not asking you, Doe. I know that. I'm not doing it. Deuteronomy 28 15. <laughs> but it shall come to pass. Hold on. If, Hang on. If you were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. so we don't listen to God, the Israelites, to observe, to do all his commandments. So we don't keep the commandments of God and his statutes, which I commanded you this day. All these curses. All these what? All, all these curses. curses shall come upon you and overtake you. So, because we made a covenant with God, I meaning we made a we made a sacred agreement with the supreme ruler of the universe right. that we would be His people and He would be our God, right. and that we would keep His charge, His laws, His statutes, His commandments. But we we didn't keep our end of the bargain. So the Lord said, "I have curses." Now we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump. We're gonna show you that we're gonna be curses to people, right? Right. Verse sixty-eight. Listen. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now wait, now, are you familiar? If you're familiar with the Bible, the Israelites in Egypt, they what were they? They were slaves. They right. were slaves. So you and know, Moses set them free. 
Right, right. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Well, you know the Lord. Said no, no, but I, I know what you but mean. But the way you're on point right now, what you're doing, the Lord using you. Like he told Moses, say, "Come on, let's go." Right, right. exactly. So they trying to tell you to bring education to right, the devil's right, right. mind. So I'm saying, I get I hear you. It. Now, so you got to understand. Yeah. Just like we speak poetically, like you'll say, yo, I haven't seen you in forever. That doesn't mean I haven't seen you in a forever, it just means I haven't seen you in a long time. So the same way Moses is using a, a metaphor, a slang, meaning you're gonna go back into slavery because Egypt was synonymous with the house of slavery. Read from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he's gonna bring the Israelites into slavery again with ships. With what? With, with ships. Turn the sign around. Who was who was in 1619? Who was on that slave ship? Who was the people that Pope Nicholas V signed the papal bull to go into slavery? Get out, huh? The Jews, us, the Israelites. Right. right. By the way whereof I spake unto you, you shall see it no more again. So our homeland is the land of Israel. Those people in the land right now, they are Ashkenazi, meaning of German descent, or sporadic meaning of Spaniard descent. Yeah. Sephardic. Yeah. Well, say it again. Sephardic. Sephardic. Thank you. That's why you keep your brother next to you. Yeah. Right? Wrong and strong. Right? But it's to say they're not biblically, genetic, in no way, shape, or form, or they the children of Israel. Right? right. That's our homeland. So we say, the wherever I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it again no more. Meaning we're not going to see Jerusalem, Israel, our homeland no more. You shall see no more again, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Sold unto who? Unto your enemies. enemies. For bond men and slave women, and no man shall buy you. Right. So we're going to go into slavery, and no one's going to save us. Now, let me show you, let's say where you at, that the people there, they're not, they're, their name, biblical name, they are Edomites. Right. Specifically, those people in the land, their tribe is Amalek. Right. They're not the church. God is only dealing with the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans dispersed throughout the world, throughout the slave trade. That's right. Only we have known his judgments. Right. right? Done. Now let's prove that those people in the land, they're frauds, phonies. This is the book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Get out. I know thy works. And tribulation. So he knows what we go through. Who's going? Who went through this tribulation but us? Who went through the lynchings, the black code, right. the rape, right. the murder, right. the police brutality? Right. Who had their fathers taken from them? Right. Who had our leaders taken from us? Right. Laws passed against us. Right. That's incarceration. Matt, who, who's going through the school, the uh, the the uh, school to prison pipeline? Right. Who was the war on drugs on? Right. right, sister. Right. It was your, it was your people's sister. Come hear this word, cause you're my I sister. You are people too. Right. Nigga, nigga. 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 Come hear this gospel, family. Yo, man. Come hear this gospel. Hey. You a king on this earth. That's right. You a princess on this earth. That's right. You're Israelites, man. That's right. That's right. Yo, man. We God's chosen people. That's right. A people above all people. That's right. Let's find out what the people, the people we know is Jews. Let's find out what they are. Hey, this is the book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9 again. Nope. I know thy works and tribulation. We go through the tribulation, the trouble. We know right. our works. And poverty. Who's impoverished? Who's in the hoods, the slums, the ghettos? Right. That's your name. right. But thou art rich. Because the kingdom of heaven is for us and only Israel. That's right. And I know the blasphemy. The lies. Of them which say they are Jews and are not, not but are the synagogue of Satan. That's what, that's Christ talking. Uh -huh. He said those people are the synagogue of Satan. Don't right. they own Hollywood where they show all those lewd movies and all the, all the homosexual stuff right. and they try to push that a boy should be a girl and a girl should be a boy? Right. Don't they own the music industry? Right. Where all that pushes nigga, 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 right. kill, kill, kill. Right. Who runs that? Do we run that? Right. Who's on the dollar bill? So hold up, brother, family, hold on. Take some information. Like that. Contact uh, us. You a king on this earth, you hear me? Right. Yo, what? Man, let me ask you, have you ever read the Bible? What? What, what do you think I'm doing? What you think I'm doing? You think I'm doing? What's wrong with this guy? Yo, man, I, I know yo, you can not make this up. No, listen, I know you're on the earth. But I read the Bible, the Quran. You know, I don't believe in Jesus. I believe in God. 
So you don't believe in Jesus? I believe he was a carpenter. He was a man of, 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 <laughs> many, of many wealth and fame. But listen, I believe that he had the power to walk through and, and, and cure people. Give me Colossians 2 and verse 8. Give me Colossians 2 and verse 8. Give me Proverbs 1 and 7. Dude, <laughs> dude, I'm from Poland. You talk about your heritage and, and slavery and all that. I, I came here. What's your heritage? What's your nationality? Polish. Polish? So, guess what? Your people participated in my people's enslavement. That's right. your heritage. Right. Yes, they did. First people that were slavery was Irish. Con, this is the book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Bring it out. Beware, lest any man spoil you. You hear what the Lord is telling you? Beware, lest any man spoil you. Talking about Christ. You came with Christ said, you get through God through me. You right. can't access the Father without Christ. Read on. Spoil you. Through philosophy and vain and deceit. deceit. Lies. Don't listen to people talking outside this Bible. Right. Right? Because here it is. Read what you got. Proverbs 1 and 7, man. Get it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. Right? The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. So the fear of God is the beginning of all knowledge. Right. Sister on the corner, you hear that? The fear of God is the beginning of all knowledge. Come. Come. Right? So it would be wise to fear God. But read on, finish that up. But fools, but fools, what's another word for a fool? Like nah, it's, we are unprofitable servants, brother. Well, we man, are, you might want to get a nah, drink of brother, water. Brother, we are unprofitable okay, servants. You, we appreciate you. Appreciate it. But we're not, here, we're not out here for money. I know you ain't, but I'm saying. But no, but brother, we have, as much hey, as we appreciate yeah, you, uh, you know, you know, you know what's more valuable. Take the money and put it in, and no, put it in the right place. But I appreciate if you hear this gospel. Right. Tell this God. Right here, no, but that's that's all I need, bro. Yeah. That's payment right, enough. Right, right. That's uh, payment enough. That's right. Now, sister, sister, do you know that we God's show? Give me Deuteronomy seven and verse six. Let's get to that. Because you know what, sister, you might have had men talk down to you in your life. Right? Oh, you too dog for me. You this, you that. Right. We go through all this other stuff. Huh. Right? A lot of our sisters, they go through a lot of pain, struggle. Right? You got a preset? Deuteronomy 14, verse 2. Yeah. But you are in holy people. A what? You are in holy, holy people. people. A what? You, you are, are a holy, holy people. people. Unto the Lord your God and the Lord have chosen you to be a, spe a peculiar people unto himself. Now read this. Time. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Get out. For if thou art in holy people. It says it again. The Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people, that is what they ask for. We are holy people. A special people. That's right. Unto the Lord Yahweh, thy God. The Lord Yahweh, thy God, hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all People. Above who? Above, above all, all people. Sister, brother, brothers, are y'all above all people? Right. Uh, Israel is above all people. Right. We are the chosen people. Uh, you think a white boy can beat you up? Never. Right. Right. Come. That's right. Hey, how can I hear this gospel, sister? You got to fly. You got, I, I understand. You got to fly. Take a fly. Take a fly, sister. Right, because I know you got to get your kids all crazy. Right? Thank you. Right? But you're an Israelite sister. You got to repent and keep the commandments, okay? Uh -huh. yeah, I've been, like, um, watching it on YouTube. So you oh, know. Praise this. Oh, praise Yeah, that's why I stopped because. Okay, so the Lord is calling you. Right. Oh, no. Nah, nah. So the, so the name, so the Most High, so the Most High God's name in Hebrew would be Yahweh. Right? Yahweh. Right? And. Um, we're God's chosen people. Yeah, but they're. Oh my God! They've been showing me like so much stuff on it. I know it could be a lot. It could yeah, be a lot. A lot of All right, so can we give you one precept? One precept. I know you said God with your kids. <laughs> uh, Miss Acts three nineteen. Bring it out. Repent, ye therefore. So you know what it means to repent. It means change your ways, right? The Lord, He has a command. He has commandments for women, right? Right. He wants to address the modesty. Wear a dress, you know, be submissive to your husband. Conservative. Right, of course, because right. think about it. Look look at that the world. Do you, now you said you got kids. Are they, are they, are they okay? It's, it's a son? Yeah. Okay, now say your son. 
How would you feel if your son said, hey, Ma, this is the woman I want you, I want to bring home, I want to be with forever. Mm -hmm. And she's uh, dancing on the stripper pole. She got her butt cheeks out, she's wearing a thong, and she brought, she's one titty out, and she said, nice to meet you. How are you going to feel? Right. If we not for my son. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So this is what is missing in our community. We right. don't want to repent and change our ways. Right. You know what? Repent you therefore and be converted. Right. That your sins may be blotted out. That's right. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So those times of refreshing, that's the kingdom. Right? Because guess what? Believe it or not, it was prophesied. So you said you've been watching, so you might have known. It's prophesied that we would go into slavery and captivity. So you right. believe that you guys are gods? This, this Psalms 82. It's the book of Psalms. 82? First six. On, because this is, I'm not, I'm not out here to speak my words. I'm out here to speak the words of the Most High God. That's right. I have said, you are God. We are what? You we are, are gods. gods. We are what? You, you are, are gods. gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. So that's cut right there. Israel, we are gods. Meaning that word God in the Hebrew means a power. So we're a power on this earth. But when we keep the commandments and we move in righteousness, because our sisters, right, think about it. Don't our sisters set the beauty standards for all the women in the world? That's right. That's why I said you are above all nations. We're in our lowest estate and poverty. Sister, how you doing? Come in, it's gospel. We're in our lowest estate and we they still try to be like us. Mm -hmm. They can't help it because think about it. They say they don't care about us. They don't, but why is it that they always got their eye on us? Right. Right? They always worried about what we do. Right? right? All of them in the Kool-Aid don't know the flavor. Right. <laughs> right? Come. So you gotta understand, sister, we gotta repent and change our ways. Now, if you have a time, can I give you just a few commandments? Okay. Oh, so we get, it's gonna be for you too. Let's get the dietary oh, laws. Now I'm gonna ask me y'all, right? So do you eat pork? Yeah. Do you eat pork? Uh, yeah, Not no more? Oh, no, but oh, somewhere I've been, I've been drawing a line on it. Okay. Because of my high blood pressure. Oh, well, I'm glad you said that, but hold on. Now, do you eat, do either of you, do you eat shrimp? Yes. Yeah, I eat shrimp. Crab? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you, you go to, all right, let's see. Now, let's, now, because the Lord, he gave us a dietary law. This is why the high blood pressure, the gout, the heart problems, the diabetes is rampant in our community, right? Do you think in the, uh, the other neighborhoods, they're not selling to them, uh, their people, they don't give their people what they give us, oh. right? Because eating pork, that came from slavery, right? Right? They would give us the, the, Chitlin. the chitlins, wow. the pig intestines, yeah. pig feet, mm -hmm. right? Ox tail, right? The worst part of the ox. And we made it up, man, we, but we're not supposed to, we have a diet, right? Let's get it. Now, we're gonna read it in the GMT. We need, uh, we're gonna read it in the GNT. A now we should read the uh, the King James version, but I'm gonna read it in the GNT, a different translation, because it's a little more plain. Okay, you understand? All right. All right. This is Deuteronomy 14, verse eight. Do not eat pigs. Don't eat what? Do not eat, eat pigs. pigs. So this is this is the most. This is Moses, right? Speaking the words of the Most High God, saying, "Don't eat pigs." They must be considered unclean. Now I said they must be considered unclean because you know why? He gave us a, a restriction, right? He says animals that uh, have a split hook, right? Meaning they have like, you know, like a cow's hook, yeah. two hooks right here and two right here, a cloven footed, right? And chew the cud, meaning they eat grass. Those are the animals we should eat. Now a pig, tell me what a pig won't eat. A pig. A pig right. can eat anything. So when you had a pig on your farm in those days, it was to clean things up, right? There was no baby back ribs, right? right? There wasn't no smothered pig knuckles and no. all this other stuff, man. Yeah. That's disgusting, it is. right? Because think of it, like you said, you said you stopped because of high blood pressure. Do you know that pigs, they have, uh, they don't sweat. So they, they have, have worms, maggots. maggots, worms, right? Now let's get about the seafood. Uh, uh, Oh no, sister! It's coming, sis. It's coming. Don't let, don't, sister, don't let that spirit get a hold of you. I love you so crap, Oh, you don't know, oh. Then let's see where God loves it, though. Verse 9. You may eat any kind of fish 
that has this and scared. So you can eat some snap up. There you go. You on point, brother. Ain't no shrimp, lobster, crab. You can't eat no shrimp. Don't that got a Let's get it out the Bible. Let's get it out the Bible. But anything living in the water that does not have fins and scales. Does a shrimp have fins and scales? Absolutely what not. about a crab? No. You no. sure when you crack it, you don't oh, yeah, see a scale? A shell. But shell. no, but it doesn't have fins and scales. No, no, no. So you can't eat it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but anything living in the water that does not have fins and scales may not be eaten. So it may not be eaten. So the Lord, he gave us a criteria of the foods we can eat, the foods we should eat. Right? We made a difference between the clean and unclean. Right. So you can eat like lamb, goat, venison, sandwiches like deer. You can eat fish, you know, like a whiting, a snapper, a salmon. Those are fish you can eat. See, right? And of the birds, you can eat things in like the chicken family. So don't be eating like, you know, you see, uh, like my family's from the South, they eat anything. Wow. Right now, think about it. The big squirrel down top. Yeah, they, they eat squirrel, they eat all that. Yeah. But why do you Sick, think? Uh, but, yeah, how do you eat? But, 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 but you ever seen that movie Soul Food? Huh? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, why yeah. did she die? Because she had an unhealthy yeah, diet. Right. The diabetes, they cut her leg. Right. 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 Yeah, right. 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 But guess what? Yeah. But, but what that was the science behind the whole thing. There you go, man. The whole movie was. But this is how y'all do it. I'm preaching. I'm out here giving the gospel. That's right. I'm out here giving. You believe in God? You believe hey, in the Bible? Jerry. How you doing, Hi, sister? Jerry. How you doing, sister? Oh, no, no. It's Jenny. It's Jenny. No, no. It's your rod. It's your rod. Your rod. Right? Your rod. I changed my name. You changed your name? I did. Right? Didn't Peter, didn't, wasn't Peter called Simon? And then he changed his name? Right. Oh, crazy. Right? Right? Didn't, right? So understand, right? Then Saul go from Saul to Paul. So let me ask you a question. Right, you believe right, in God? Right. Yeah. That was on the road right? to You want to go to heaven? That was on the road to the Right? Yeah. Yeah. Now let's see. Do you know? Now I got you a question, right. sister. How do you love God? <laughs> Why do you not put it on the spot? No, it's not. How do you love God? <laughs> right? Because you got to understand. Love is an action word, right? So let's say uh, your parents, right? How do they show you love? They feed you. They clothe you. They teach you good things. Would they love you if they beat you, starved you? No. No. So, so love. So there's a criteria for love. Let's find out how we love God. It's the book of First John, chapter five, verse three. Bring it out. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. That we do what? That we keep His commandments. That we do what? We keep His commandments. And His commandments are not grievous. So to love God is to keep his commandments. That's the criteria you set for. All right, now we're going over the dietary law right now, right? We're going over commandments. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, don't say Shalom. Shalom. Something ain't gonna change. Something ain't gonna be the same. You know what I'm saying? Something ain't gonna be the same way. No, uh, no, those are, those are good. Now, I'm asking you, those are, those are good. Keep that. Right, that's Exodus 20. Now, we just went over with them, we're gonna go over it again. Those are 10 commandments, exactly. Now, do you know that there's a dietary law that our people are supposed to follow? Like what you eat? What right. you eat, yes. Oh Lord. Um, no. Uh, All right, so would you like to so, so let me so let's I'm too big to No, no, no. No, 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 no one's too big. Vegetables. I eat those vegetables. Okay, now do you eat apples and oranges? Do you eat pork? Her name is from the book in the Bible. It is Micah. Micah, that's a beautiful name. Right? Now, do you eat pork? Huh? Do you eat pork? No, it's not, it's not very big. Do you eat, well, you eat pig? So you do, but do you eat it? I eat, yes. Do you eat pork? No. All right, do you eat shrimp, crab, pork? Shrimp, shrimp or crab, crab or lobster? Uh, oh, yes, I do. See what I'm talking about? All right. About? No. Yeah. no, no, no. No, no, no. Can we, now, can we prove Wait, you? Wait, which, 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 um, which, I'm hungry right now. Which book is this? King James. This is, in, I mean, no, I mean, which book the, in the Bible? This is, oh. we're reading out the book of Deuteronomy. Right, this is where the law is. You can also find it in a, a Leviticus 11. Why do you guys have so many Bibles? There's only, no, there's only one Bible. There's different translations. Translations, different translations. Right, so hold on. New Testaments and then the 
Yeah, now, hold on. Now, 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 hold on. Now, I'm going to answer that question. Let me edify a little sister first, all right? You said I can't eat shrimp? No, the, the Lord said you can't eat shrimp. That's right. I didn't say anything. The Bible, the Lord is saying you can't eat. Right. Deuteronomy 14 and 9. Look it out. These you shall eat of all that are in the water. So the Lord's saying this is what you can eat. He's saying this. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I said, don't interrupt, don't interrupt. Yeah. So, no, no, I said, don't interrupt. Oh. That's all. Now, it says, this is what you can eat out of what comes out of the water. All that has fish and scales. All that have what? Fish and scales. Now, Mike, let me ask you a question. Does a lobster, does a shrimp, does it have fins and scales? I got shell. Does it have fins and scales? Yes or no? Uh, maybe. No. Wait, so you can't eat fish and scales? No, you can't eat anything that doesn't have fins or scales. So, so you can't eat pork and chicken? No, no, no. This is, remember, we're going to, no, no, hold on. We're going to get the con. This is talking about seafood. This is what we can eat out of what comes out of the sea. Last time they told me I was a whore because I was going to like this. I was going to, I was going to, I was going to, I was going to make the male I wanted. Okay. Now, now hold on, sister. Now, we're going to get, now, we're going to get into all that. We're going to explain. I'm going to explain it. You're right. You're right. You're right. Are you, do you believe that too? So, now, I'm going to answer that. No, no, no. Now, hold on. Can I? No, oh, no, I don't believe. Oh, all right, all right. No, the you thing is this. That. No, but the thing is this, right? We just gotta keep order. Now, the Lord does give a dress code for women. Right. Yes. You gotta wear fringes. Now, hold on. We got. <laughs> we wear fringes. That's also for the women. That's right. And we're not. Supposed, and we're not. So hold on, sister, 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 sister. sister you aren't. You, you going too fast. Let's no. So so let's slow down, sister. Let's slow down. Let's slow down. Right, yes. Sister, hold on, hold on, sister. Now, hold on. Now, let's get the understand for the dietary law. We're gonna answer all your questions, okay? So for seafood, right? Here's what we can eat out of the seafood. There's a criteria for food that we can eat on land. There's a criteria for what we can eat in the sea. Huh? Look, they serve a purpose. They serve it not to be eaten, right? Verse 9, these you shall eat of all that are in the waters. All that have fish and scales shall you eat. And whatsoever have not fish and scales, you may not eat. So the Lord is saying, so the Lord is saying you can eat food out of the water. You can eat animals that have fins and scales. So like a shrimp and a crab and a lobster, they're bottom feeding creatures that clean the sea. That's why the Lord created them. Right? The shark. Right, the shark is created to maintain the ecosystem. Yeah. Right? That's why they eat other things we can't eat. Right? Now let's get what we can eat on land. <laughs> yeah. All oh, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's how you shift yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you shift. Yeah. That's how you shift the tribe of Israel, right? Uh, now, tribe of Benjamin, no play. Now hold up. Now hold up. Now let's get what we can eat on the land. Right, bring it out. Verse 2. You may eat these animals. So this is in a different translation so you understand what it's saying. Cattle. So what's cattle? Like a cow. Cows. No, not a pig. Sheep. You can't eat pigs. We're going to get into that. You can eat pigs. You can eat goat. You can eat goat. Wait, curry. Curry goat. There you go. Right? Goat and land. Exactly. Right. Sheep, goats, deer, wild sheep, wild goats, or antelopes. Any animals that have divided hooves and that also chew the cud. So, no. So it's deer. That's remember I told. So remember I told you venison. So you gotta remember this is different type of different deer, like a lot of different types of. Yeah, like baby. Yeah, like baby. yeah. 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 why you why you think baby mom got killed? Yeah, yeah. she was delicious. Right, yeah. 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 right? Now hold on. Yeah. Now you can eat yeah. chicken. Yeah. Right, you can eat things in the chicken family, like why turkey. Is chicken chicken yeah. and I can't answer that question. Uh, right? But now, now you asked about the dress code. Right. Right? Now this is what it's talking about, right? Uh, you know where to go. It's the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. Get out. In like manner also, that woman 
adorn themselves in modest apparel. So, in modest apparel, meaning. <laughs> no, hold on. I know. No, hold on. Don't, the sister. Sister, why you got your back turned because to me? It's 2024. Yeah, meaning it's just time to get right. That's right. 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 right? It's time to get right. Now, understand. No, you stay here. You can leave if you want. No, you're right. You're right. Thank you. You're right. <laughs> right. You're right on this. Jesus That's how you feel. Oh, That's how you I'm feel. I'm trying to hear That's all right. She needs to know that. That's all right. That's why you got it. And she, pray for her. this is that rebellious spirit <laughs> that not just immodestly puts on. You think it's so a game, no, no, no. Because that's what you got. These no. Men are <laughs> no, sister, no. I'm, I gotta be. I gotta. I gotta be honest. So hold on. No, hold on, hold on. No, no, it's all right. Now hold on. Now. No, no, no. So hold on. No, that wasn't us. Don't bear false witness. That wasn't us. No, hold on. Now, sister. Now, can we explain to you why? Let's explain. Get out the Bible. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So, what the? Can we read? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So, let me ask you a question. I can't wear something that makes a man's That's what I was trying to get. No, Jubilee. no, hold on, hold on. Deuteronomy. This Deuteronomy. So hold on, now I'm going to explain it to you, right? So, should men be wearing dresses? I'm not really here. But they shouldn't. That's according to the Lord. Right? Let's read it one more time. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So that means there's things a man should wear and there's things a woman should wear. Now the thing with leggings. Pertaining to a man, what does that mean? So in this, in the context of this, right? It was talking about armor, right? Mm -hmm. Because these would be men of war, right? But then the woman, what would they wear? They would wear dresses, skirts, and they would wear modest apparel. Right. Meaning they, they can't wear pants. So you should wear modest, you should wear a skirt. And this is, this is the reason why. Now hold on, can I explain to you why? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. No. Listen, listen, listen. Exactly. Are they yes, Israelites? Those are Scottish men. Come on, sister. Come on, sister. That might be in one of the translations. That might be in one of the No, hold on. Now, sister. Yeah, it might be in one of the translations. Why not? That's in one of the translations. But why not? Why? Because I don't Wear a dress. Why do you hate dressing? Now hold on, now hold on. So you don't love the Lord? Because the Lord, the Lord gave. All right, all right. And that's it. I said it, you don't love, this is the words of the Lord. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursuing. So that's it. Now you got to understand, this Bible, give me Ephesians 4 and 12. Right, Hebrews 4 and 12, the water. Hebrews 4 and 12, right? Because the thing is this. You see how how it figure, you see how she told me they were calling me out my name. She literally told me to write a dick. But then just all I'm doing was all I'm doing is reading the Bible. Right. Did I call her a name? Did I say she's anything? Right? But this is what? This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 4 and verse 12. Bring it out. It's Hebrews 4 and verse 12. For the word of God is quick. Means quick, meaning this is a living word. And powerful. And what? And, and powerful. powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. So a two-edged sword, that's like a knight sword. Uh, this Bible is sharper than that. Piercing even to the binding asunder of soul and spirit. So this Bible, when you hear these words, it's going to cut you to the soul because you know what? You hear, once you hear... Yo, the Lord is not dealing with how you're acting. In your spirit, you feel that. Because you know what? Everyone wants to be found in favor of God. That's the Father. That's like when you hear your Father say, I'm disappointed in you. Right. That does something to you if you really love your Father. Right. Read on. Come. And of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts in intents of the heart. So it discerns what you think, right? We brought out a man shouldn't wear. Women's garments, 
and a woman should wear a man's garments. And what did those young sisters do? They flee. I'm never wearing a dress. I'm never wearing a skirt. Did I, did, did I, did I, did I say you're gonna be in change? You go no. Anything about it, you ain't say nothing about it. But when you saw it, you gave me show it where it's saying. Right, because you have to understand, this word is medicine. Right. This word is healing. This is what our people need. This is why do you think? Remember when we read in Deuteronomy 28, 68, where it says, "No man shall redeem you." Think about it. Marcus Garvey, right? Uh, Eddie Good, Eddie Goodman, right? The leader of the Move program, right? The Panthers, the Young Lords, right? Uh, uh, Cha Cha Jimenez. All these people, they tried to save our people. They, they, they tried to do it economically, militarily, all these ways. Right. What they were missing was the Bible, the words of God, the law. This is wisdom of Solomon 16, verse 12. For it was neither earth nor mollifying pastor that restored them to health. But thy word, O Lord, was filled with all things. So the word of God heals you, brother. Keeping these laws, now think about it. In our community, if we kept thou shalt not kill, just that one. Imagine how many yeah, brothers yeah, would be yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. There was a killing this week right. in Albany. Uh, there was two shootings. Right. Right. Think about if we kept. Give me uh, give me Deuteronomy thou twenty-three. Thou shalt not prostitute thy daughter. Oh, I gotta ask you a question. Leviticus nineteen. Y'all go read the. Do y'all read it? Do y'all believe well, in, uh, you know, in the gospel? Of course. You want to know what the gospel is? Sister, come hear this word. But you know what I know is about the gospel? Give me Isaiah 14 I, I remember and reading the Bible back to front, right? Huh? And you know they got the Bible, some of them have like the red right, and that's what Jesus was talking about. Yes. Right. Oh, if you read it in the context, you know Jesus was pissed off a lot. Because think about it. I'm just saying, when, Yo, he, when he was saying stuff. You're on point. Because remember, didn't Christ, did Christ make a whip and go into the synagogue? Yeah, and beat, yeah, yeah, flip the tables and beat everybody? With the money changers and all that. Yeah, I know, I know, right, I know. Like, isn't, that, isn't that what they, they do in church today? Well, Don't half they? the time he speaks, if you know how to read, I mean. Brothers, come in his gospel, come in his word. Come in his word, King. You would say, damn, he sounds like pissed off. And if you keep me like, Jesus was pissed off. A lot, just like when John. Right. When John, uh, uh, when they when they had a couple of uh, loaves of fish and, and a little bit of bread, and uh, all the people came, and Jesus was like, "Do that, right?" And then he fed them and all that. And then him and John, they had so much that the boat was moving slow. They had you know, so much, and they going to the other other across the river. They and, going somewhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And, and they was going and said, "Yeah." And then as they was riding, John said, "Look, Rabbi, or teacher, or." No, Whatever he said, a different thing. Look, he said, look, Jesus, they following you. They want to hear you preach some more. And then Jesus said, yeah, they might want to hear me preach some more, or they might want something more to eat. I'll talk to y'all later. In other words, they were following him to get something to eat, not to hear the word. Come, right? So understand. Now, and just, that's what he said. Now, hold on. Now, let's find out what food really is. Give me uh, Matthew 5. It was fish and bread. Now, let's find out what food really is. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Let's find out what we should really be eating. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 4. It's a lot of you. Jesus said, if they want some more to eat, they might be fine to eat just for me. They might not want to hear the word. But he, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. That proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yeah. So this is what we gotta eat. We gotta devour wisdom, yeah. man. That's now right. you ask what the gospel was, yeah. you gotta understand. Let's figure out what you wanna know what the gospel is? Cause didn't uh give me Acts one and hold Acts one and six. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 1. Bring it out. For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. You hear that, sister? He's choosing Israel, he's choosing you, sister. He's choosing you too. The Lord is choosing you. Come here, this gospel. Brother, he's choosing you. He's going to have mercy on you if you love him and keep his commandments. And set them in their own land. We're going to be back in Jerusalem, back in Israel, man. Uh, back in action. Come. Let's see. All right. And the strangers shall be joined with them. So these are the other nations, right? No, no, these are our people. Oh, we, okay, okay, so okay. the other nations would be. Chinese people, the East Indian people, the white people, right? The Nilotic committed African people. 
Because they're not all our people, because they didn't Egyptians and slave us. They wouldn't enslave their own people. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. So let's see what he says. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So they're going to cleave onto us. And the people shall take them and bring them in their place. Come my star sisters. How y'all doing? And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord Yahweh for servant. For what? For, for servant. And handmaids. So they're going to be slaves. Just like we're their handmaids and servants. Doesn't that make your teeth white? Uh, make your heels click? Right. That's the yeah. gospel. This is what Christ is preaching. Yeah. But the only way we're going to get there is if we keep the commandments. Come. You think, uh, would you set up, you, you have a son? Yes. Would you set your son over your house if he was a drug addict, a whoremonger, and he no. was not? No. I couldn't. Yeah. You couldn't. He couldn't do it anyway. So, so this is what the Most High God is. I can't set y'all up unless y'all keep my commandments. Come and stars, family. Come and stars. So that's familiar. Yes, yes. Go, 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 go on the side of my book bag. I got a Spanish fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Here you go. It's Espanol. Okay. Mucho gusto. Whose captive they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Now, hold on to that. It said we were their captives. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. So it said we love you, sisters. Right? So understand, right? They said, we're going to possess the people whose captives we were. Right. Weren't we slaves? And we weren't just slaves to those white men. Turn us, turn us around. You ever heard of the sub-Saharan slave trade? Yeah. yeah. So we were slaves. That's what, that, that we were slaves under the... With, a lot of, uh, with the, uh, the Arabs. Exactly. Was, like I said, we're talking about Yemen. Hey, Chad, Scott, right. Like, the cable, right. Right, so right. They were African, but... They look, they look Arab because right. the Arab went, the Arabs went there. Right. So let me just say, Sub-Sahara ain't anything below yes. Sahara, and that was like. You are on point, Elder. Yeah, yeah. You are on yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need to keep the commandments yeah, 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 yeah. and say to you. Read on it. God, verse three. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord Yahweh shall give rest. Shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from the fear and from the heart bondage wherein thou was made to serve now let's prove from christ that the kingdom is only going to be for israel this is the book of acts 1 verse 6 when they therefore so that they these are the apostles talking to christ God. when they therefore were come together they asked of him saying lord will you at this time restore against the kingdom to Israel. To who? To, to Israel. Israel. So, brother, you notice it doesn't say all nations, all people? Right. He's only dealing with Israel. Right. right? And that's not the people committing genocide in the land right now. Right. right. Those people, like I said, they are Ashkenazi. Right. Right? Amalekites, Edomites. Right. Edomites. Right? We call, we call them European Jews. Right. Because that's right. all they were. That's now, let's, that now, let's prove... Not right that converts. Now give me give me Luke 21. Let's prove that we would be in the land and we would be cast out of the land. Right? Because if you if you know uh you seem well versed in history, have you ever heard of uh the event you know of Titus Vespasian? Titus and Vespasian? The Roman generals? The Roman emperor in general, his son? Alright, so what happens, right? Now Christ was a prophet, right? So you gotta remember. He's preaching what, uh, what we know like around 33 AD, right? He's preaching, he's gonna, this is what he's preaching. And he's proclaiming because there's an event in 70 AD where the Romans, right, we revolted and Titus Vespasian, he destroyed us. He took, put us in slavery, right? And he sacked our temple and he made us slaves, right? He took our menorah, right? He took all our gold. He took thought, everything from us. Thought, yeah, okay. All right, so let's prove it out the Bible that Christ prophesied this. Yeah. It's Luke 21, verse 20. And when you shall see Jerusalem, compassed with armies. So, he's again, when you see Titus Vespasian surrounding the city with his army, then know that the desolation thereof is not. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. So those mountains, right, that's going 
you know, the Atlas Mountains, right? right. Going, you have to flee to Africa, flee to these different lands, the Himalayan Mountains, uh, right? Meaning, Christ is saying, don't try to fight them, get the hell out of there, because right. you ain't gonna win, because right. the Lord's not gonna be with you. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let none, and let not them that are in the countries into their tombs. For these be the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. So, things so Deuteronomy 28 and 68 had to be fulfilled, right? Out of the Lord, out of the Lord's mouth, right? Once it goes out, it, do, it doesn't come back unfulfilled, right? So these things had to happen because Christ is the Savior, right? He has to save us from something, right? Right. Right? Understand, this whole thing is the, it's also Christ could be the ruler, the king. Right, right now, we live in like a Bible story. Verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led captive, away captive, into all nations. So who is captives in all nations? Okay, okay, right, because, because think about it, right? Even in, because the, the Arabs, they sold us to the Japanese, the Chinese. You know, we built the Great Wall of China. Did you know that, brother? Right, that's why you hear people, oh, I'm an Asiatic black man. Brother, you from Israel, man. <laughs> and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Meaning the Gentiles, other nation, is going to have control of Jerusalem. That's why the Palestinians, they think that's their land. Right. Because they were put there by the Romans. Right. Right? They were given, all right, take this land and hold it down. And that's why they think, oh, we have a claim to it. But they participated in our enslavement as well. Right. Until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And that was like what we read in Isaiah 14. When Christ comes back, he's going to enslave them. He's going to kill them. And we're going to be their rulers. We're going to be back on top. Right. Now, I'm getting ready to go. All right. But I want to ask you a question. No problem, brother. So I'm not African American. That's right. What, what would you be, brother, according to this chart? And that's what we can, I like when you can come around. Right, right, again, brother. That's my first thing I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you? You can't be two things at once. Right, right because... That's, that's a cartoon, though. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So what would you be, brother? American Blacks, tribe of Judah. You would be a right. Judah! Because right. you're from the tribe of... You know Christ is from the tribe of Judah? That's right. That's, that's your brother, man. Right. It's John 1, verse 47. Yahweh Shai saw Nathaniel coming to him and saying, Beth, Behold, an Israelite indeed. A what? An, an Israelite, Israelite indeed. indeed. So when I see you, I say an Israelite indeed, That's brother. Right. That's right. Brother, you got a flyer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Come on, you're going like you want. I know you're five, man. I know you're educated. Right, right, right. Can we give you one more? It's daytime, I know. Can we give you, can you give me one more? Uh, one more, one for the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for the road. Leviticus 19, 27. You shall now round the corners of your head. So this is one more law. We can't shave our head bald. Neither shall you mar the corners of thy beard. I ain't got no... Now, brother, hold on. Now, are you bald? Did you shave your head or did you just go bald? I shaved my head. But uh, right here, no, but right here. What that's no sin. No... That's no sin. Right <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. All right, no, so get it, get it, no. What about me? <laughs> Now, if you like that, you're hitting on things. You know, some things are attainable. Like you could do that. You could do that. Right. So understand. So the sides of your head, the, let, the hair you got, you gotta just let it be. Right. Right. You know, like think about it. George Jefferson, he was cool, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You and know. He had Wheezy, so he was good. There you go, brother. <laughs> right. So don't shave your head bald. Right. Like if you if you're going bald, that's not a sin. Right. Because you're going bald. Right. All right, all right, all right, I know, I know, I know. Right? <laughs> Neither uh, shall you mar the corners of your beard. So you gotta, you gotta grow your beard out, brother. That's I right. always wonder why brothers, I never knew why brothers just let they think like, bam, like that. But right. you can't trim it or You can. Yeah. Now, that's why it says mar. Because yeah. think about it. David, if you know the account of 1 Samuel, it says uh, Saul's son, he didn't trim his beard until David came. So it's lawful for you to trim your beard, but it's a sin if you shave it off clean face. Because think about it. Now, the symbol of Judah is the lion. How do you know a male lion from a female lion? Right. So you got to right. have your manly badge That's on. That's right. Hey, that's, that's right. right. All right, brother. Right. Right. right, you my elder, right, man. Again, I appreciate man. you for listening to me. Right. Oh, right. Man. Badge yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, you just the, brother, you just got the gospel, man. All right, brother. I hope you gather with us, man.
All right, right brother. Shalom, brother. That means peace unto you. Shalom. 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 Give me Matthew 18 and 3, man. Are you on oh, the spirit? Oh, praise you. Matthew 18, verse 3. Bring it out. It said, Verily I say unto you, except you will be converted and become as little children. Not like those little girls we saw earlier. You shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So unless you be converted, be born again, right. 